Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning, our verses can be found in the book of John chapter 3. This is when Nicodemus met Jesus. Uh, in verse 3, Jesus replied to Nicodemus, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Jesus is actually explaining to Nicodemus the second birth because Nicodemus first experienced the physical birth when he was born out of his mother. And Jesus is talking that there is a need for the second birth, which is the, the spiritual birth. And then that is actually the context of the very familiar verse, uh, the John 3, 16. But let me start reading from verse 15. That everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. And then verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. <clears throat> have you ever watched the show Hoarders? It's about people who have a hard time throwing things away. They simply collect and collect and collect and eventually the clutter overwhelms them. The thing about hoarder is that unless there is a change within, the garbage will accumulate again and again. There is a small farming town in north of Manhattan, Kansas, that had a notorious hoarder family living there. They had completely filled their front porch with bags of trash, and it wasn't long before their yard and driveway were completely full of trash. Broken refrigerators, stoves, worn-out sofas, lawn mowers, an old car, and they didn't even drive. And then one morning, a sign was posted on their front door that read, We are moving you to your new house. And they had. They had literally moved to a new house. It seems the inside of their old house was just as full of clutter and trash as the yard. So they had no other choice but to move to a new house sponsored by the city. But you know, they took some of their old trash with them. And it wasn't long until their new house was as trashy as the old one. Sometimes our lives can be that way, so cluttered with junk and trash that normal life seems impossible. Well, talk about needing a fresh start or a clean break. We'll want to just pick up and move on to a new house, hoping for a fresh start or a clean break with the past. But again, unless some deep change take place, at the core level of our well-being, we end up cluttering up our lives with the same sort of junk and trash as before. We'll even take it on the road with us everywhere we go. That's where repentance comes in. That's where a new birth as opposed to a new start is required. And that is what Jesus is actually explaining to Nicodemus. That he needs a change from within, a rebirth, a spiritual birth. And that is why Jesus came here on earth, because of God's great love for us. And again, coming back to um, 2 Corinthians 5.17, that is what Apostle Paul called the new creation. It's uh, a thread. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, this person is a new creation. 
the old things passed away, behold, new things have come. We don't need a New Year's resolution. We don't need a fresh start. We don't need a new house or a new place. What we need is a change from within. What we need is a rebirth. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that uh, you sent your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to come here on earth and to forgive us and to give us a new life. Heavenly Father, our prayer is that may we see the need. We may see the need that we need to be born again. We need the second birth. Heavenly Father, help us to open our heart and open our mind to welcome you in our lives, to welcome you and let you give us a new heart, make us your new creation. Heavenly Father, our prayer is that may this new year that you give us, we may be able to find you and have that new life, that new birth, that spiritual birth, so that a new me, a new us, will start in this life. Heavenly Father, once again, we give you all the honor and all the glory. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good morning.